Hello students. In our previous session of integers, we have learned about the addition, subtraction and multiplication of integers and their properties. Now in this video, we will learn about the division of integers and its properties. And then we will see few word problems related to it. Now let's see what we are going to study in this session. Division of integers, properties of division of integers, word problems on integers, and then it would be followed by the exercises. Division of integers. So let's see what are the rules for the division of integers. The rules for division are more or less same as that of the multiplication. So let's see what's the first rule. It says if both the integers have same sign, that is if both the integers are positive or both are negative, then the absolute or the numerical value of the two integers are divided and positive sign is assigned to the quotient. So here what we are supposed to do, we have to divide the numbers, the absolute value and put positive sign in the answer. So let's see with the help of few examples. Divide 25 by 5. So here both the numbers, they are positive. So 25 divided by 5 will give me 5. So what we have got positive number divided by a positive number gives the answer as a positive integer. Now let's see one more example. Divide minus 42 by minus 6. So here both the integers have negative sign that is the sign of both the numbers is same. So what we have to do, divide the numerical values, that is 42 divided by 6, which gives me 7. And since both the integers were negative, answer is positive. So what we have to keep in, in mind, that if both the integers have same sign, then the answer is positive. So negative divide by negative gives me positive. It is the same as we have in multiplication. Now let's see the next rule. Let's see the next rule that is the second rule. If both the integers have opposite signs that is one of the integer is positive and the other integer is negative then absolute value of the two integers are divided and negative sign is assigned to the quotient. So if the two integers have opposite sign, the quotient will have negative sign. Let's see with the help of few examples. Divide minus 26 by 2. So here one integer is negative and other is positive. So divide the absolute value that is 26 divided by 2 which gives me 13. And since the signs are opposite, the quotient will be negative. So the answer is minus 13. So a negative number divided by positive gives me a negative number. Now let's see one more example. Now we have to divide 24 by minus 6. So 24 is a positive integer and minus 6 is a negative integer. So 24 divide by minus 6. Divide the absolute value that is 24 divided by 6 gives me 4. And since the signs are opposite, we put 
negative sign in the quotient. So we have to keep it in mind. If the signs are opposite, then the answer will always be negative. So positive divided by negative gives me negative. Now let's see the properties of division. The first property is the closure property. This closure property says for any two integers a and b, a divided by b is not always an integer. Now what does it mean? That division is not closed under integer. Let's see with the help of few examples. Now say if I write 30 divided by minus 5. Now since one is positive and other is negative, the answer will be negative. And I divide the absolute value, 30 divided by 5 gives me 6. So the answer is minus 6. Now minus 6 is an integer. Now what if I write 7 divided by minus 2? What will be an the answer? The answer will not be an integer. It will be some fraction. So we can say that division is not closed under integer. The answer of division is not necessarily will be an integer. This is what the closure property of division mean. Now the second property says if a is an integer such that a is not zero, that means a is a non-zero integer. It can be any positive or negative integer but not zero. Then a divided by a is equals to one. That means if I, div I divide an integer by itself, then the answer will be 1. And the integer a divided by 1 is always a. So let's see it with the help of few examples. Now here 5 divided by 5. So integer 5 is a positive integer. It is divided by itself. The answer is 1. Now let's see one more example. Minus 10 divided by minus 10. So since both the integers are negative or I can say they have same sign, the answer will be positive. So divide the absolute values. 10 divided by 10 gives me 1. And since both the integers are negative, the answer is positive. So again, minus 10 divided by minus 10 is 1. So if I divide any integer by itself, the answer is always 1. Now let's see minus 3 divided by 1. So here we have one number negative and other is positive. So divide their absolute value. 3 divided by 1 gives me 3. And since the two integers have opposite sign, the answer will be negative. So the answer is minus 3, which is same as the integer I have taken here. So any integer divided by 1 gives me the same integer. Let's see few more properties of division. So the third property of division says for any non-zero integer a, 0 divided by a is equals to 0. Now what does it mean? It means if I divide 0 by any integer, the answer will be 0 only provided this integer should not be 0. It should be any integer which is either positive or negative integer but not 0. So any 
if I divide 0 by any integer, the answer will be 0 only. So let's see with the help of examples. Here 0 divided by 5. I am dividing 0 by a positive integer. The answer is 0 only. Now if I divide 0 by negative integer that is minus 5, the answer is 0 only. And just I have told you earlier that 0 is not positive, neither it is negative. It doesn't have any sign. It is neutral. So there is no plus or minus sign in 0. So the answer will always be 0. Now let's see the next property. It says if a is any integer, then a divided by 0 is not defined. Now what does it mean? That if I try to divide any integer by 0, then the answer is not defined. Or we can say that we cannot divide any integer by 0. Now let's see few word problems based on integers. So let's see the first problem. Example 1. In a class test containing 10 questions, 4 marks are given for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are given for every incorrect answer. If Naresh attempts all the questions but only 6 of them are correct, then what is his total score? Now let's see the solution. Now Naresh has got only 6 correct answers. So number of correct answers are 6 and 4 marks are given for every correct answer. So the total marks for correct answers will be 6 multiplied by 4 that is 24. So these are the marks for correct answer. Now the test contains 10 questions and he has given 6 correct answers. So number of incorrect answers become 10 minus 6 that is 4. Now the marks for incorrect answer now since minus 2 marks are given for every incorrect answer, so total marks for incorrect answers become 4 multiplied by minus 2. Now we will multiply the absolute values that is 4 and 2 which gives me 8 and since they are having opposite sign the answer will be negative that is minus 8. So, the marks for correct answers are 24 and for incorrect it is minus 8. So to find his total score we add both of them. So total score is 24 plus minus add 8. So now here recalling the rules for addition. One number is positive and other is negative. So we have to subtract so 24 minus 8 gives me 16 and we have to put the sign of bigger number here bigger number is 24 so answer is positive 16 so we have got the answer is Naresh total score is 16 now let's see one more example example 2 the product of two integers is minus 182. If one of the integer is 13, find the other integer. Now let's see the solution. It is given the product of two integers is minus 182. That means when I multiply any two integers, the answer is minus 182 and one of the integer is 13. I have to find the other integer. So in such questions what we have to do? We have to do division. 
when product is given and one of the integer is given then to find another integer we have to use division operation so the other integer is minus 182 divided by 13 so for division divide the absolute value of 182 by 13 which gives me 14 and since the two integers have opposite sign one is negative other is positive so the answer is negative so the other integer becomes minus 14 so this is our answer the other integer is minus 14 so always keep it in mind when the product of two integers is given and one of them is given then to find the other integer use division operation so students, now we have learned all the operations on integer. So I hope you would be able to solve this exercise on the basis of the knowledge which we have gained till now. So that's all for today's session. Thank you children.